We are on the eve of the Vols' last home game yes. of the season. Where has the season gone? <laughs> it's a season that's felt like, well, like it always should have, right? Yes, absolutely. The Big Orange beat the Gators at home, as you know, early in the season. Orange and White Nation dared to dream it could get even better, and it did with the win over Alabama. The goalposts coming down and going into the river, just like they did in 98. <laughs> <laughs> From checkerboards to the return of the Vols' letters to special uniforms and military flyovers, the spectacle has been huge this year. Rocky Top felt like college football's main stage, with ESPN Game Day stopping by twice and even following the Vols on the road. For the first time in a long time, the level of play on Shields Watkins Field matched the volunteer tradition. The Vols even spent a few glorious days ranked number one in the nation. Our top story for you tonight, WAT 6 on your side reporter Dominic Webster joins us in the studio after a day with the fans. And Dominic, a win on senior day would definitely count cap this off nicely. You know, that's right, and it's no secret that Tennessee football fans are some of the most loyal ones around, and that persever the perseverance of those fans is directly tied to this team's success and how it's put the University of Tennessee back on the map. They, uh, they've done a tremendous job turning around ever since Heifels came in. It's been incredible to see it happen so quickly, you know, coming off of last season, and we had a tough end to last season with that bowl game and everything against Purdue. And just seeing how quick of a turnaround and just such a special group of guys they have this year. Fans have been giving Vol football an outpouring of support this season as they are currently 8 and 1 heading into the game against the Missouri Tigers. And expectations for the season this year have been shattered. Oh, I was able to see it. Uh, if we could have got eight or nine wins this year, I thought that would have been great. Uh, now we're looking at maybe even the college football playoffs. If we don't make that, I'm still not going to be disappointed. If we run the table, you know, with New Year's Six Bowl, probably one of the top bowls will be. I'm happy with that. Tennessee already knocking off two of its biggest rivals this year brought excitement back to Rocky Top. And with this being the final home game of the season, fans know how special home field advantage has been. It's, it's showing you, man. It's showing you the football is back in Tennessee. Like, it's been really huge. I mean, it's been something that fans have been craving and waiting for for a long time. And one fan who has been through all of the ups and downs in recent memory loves where the program is now. Uh, I like to see the fan enthusiasm coming back. I used to come to Neyland Stadium when it didn't look like anything it does now. And then I've came when there were 80,000, and that's not acceptable. Uh, it's good to come now and see the stadium full again. Now, Riggs left one message for Vol fans saying that when you become a fan of the orange and white, you're a Vol for life, and that people keep, this, keep faith in this team. The Vols have improved faster than anyone expected them to, and we can't wait to see how the end of the season shakes out for them. Bo, Lori? Man, that is for sure. Yes. It'll be fun watching these next three games. Dominic, thank you very much. Tennessee will close out the home portion of its season tomorrow with Senior Day and hopefully a win for the Ball Faithful. Oh, we certainly hope so. And looking ahead to Saturday's game, UT Director of Athletics Danny White says it is sold out. He adds fans need to come early and be loud for the seniors' <laughs> last ride in Neyland. Here's a rundown of the events for tomorrow. The Vol Walk steps off at about 9.45. Now, we should note here, different branches of the military will be represented as part of UT's Salute to Service Week. Gates to Neyland open at 10, then at 11.35. Football, band, and spirit squad seniors and their families will be honored during a special ceremony. And we're told to fly over with two A-10s from the 163rd Fighter Squadron will also happen right before kickoff.